into fun at the festival that brings in visitors from all over the world to experience the Central Valley's pomegranate and nut products. We are talking about the Madeira Pomegranate Fruit and Nut Festival, otherwise known simply as the Pomegranate Festival. It's been around for years. It features a full day of delicious pomegranate food, nuts, live entertainment, cooking demonstrations from local chefs, arts and crafts, and really fun for the entire family. This is really a great event, and now with all the details is Bo Miracle. Bo, how are you? I'm doing great. I, I was just saying what a great name that is, Bo oh. Miracle. Thank you. <laughs> I would love to say I picked it myself. But. <laughs> well, that's okay. Well, we'll give your mom credit for that one for sure. Thank all you. right, you are going to be, uh, you're one of the vendors there mm -hmm. at the festival. Um, you're with the chamber. Um, what does it mean to be part of such a great event, really, a, a very popular event? Uh, well, for me, I mean, I've been part of it since it started, mm -hmm. um, and it's been a very exciting time, and it's only grown throughout the years. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when you bring the community together like this, and you have, like, the, the police department, law enforcement, uh, the Madera Recs and communities and parks participating, and all the local businesses, I mean, it's just, just awesome. Where is it going to be held? Uh, it's at the fairgrounds off of 99 in Cleveland. Okay, that's right down the street, really. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously t people from all over go because pomegranates are such a, a, a huge commodity here in the Central Valley. Mm -hmm. What kind of pomegranate products can we expect to eat and see and taste? Oh, I mean, there's going to be everything from, I mean, drinks to food. I mean, and then also with them incorporating the fruit and nut as well. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a lot of inspired foods for that also. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just, I mean, if you can think of it, it's going to be there. I mean, they're going to have cooking demonstrations. I mean, they're going to just have a whole lot of stuff out there for sure. And live music as well. Yes, I think the, the John Clifton band will be out there, and uh, they do a great performance, and we're excited to have them out there as well. So you are with uh, Miracle Realty and mm -hmm. CrossFit Madeira. Yes. So how are you going to be representing? So the, the they voluntold me to work in the morning shift, so okay. I'll be, like, setting up and help parking and all that, and then... Then I go to the uh, the booth and participate with the my staff, basically. Okay, got it, got it. Mm. And this is a big deal for the people of Madeira. Oh, big time. And it's free, and parking's free as well, so, I mean, you can't really beat it. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so give us the specifics, uh, the times, the dates, everything. So it'll be this Saturday mm -hmm. uh, from 10 a.m. to 4. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously, parking will start to get a little uh, busy right around 10 so if they want to come a little early they can but gates open at 10. Okay got it and is there things for the kids to do? Are there, yes, I mean, okay. yes yes good question so they have uh, Thomas uh, not Thomas the train but Thomas train will be out there okay. and so <laughs> they can participate in that they have uh, you know, inflatables, pony rides, uh, paint, paint, uh, face painting from uh, the Madeira Arts Council, and uh, I think they also have something with Star Wars, Star Wars going on as well. So, just a ton of stuff. Oh, the kids love mm -hmm. Star Wars! Wow. Okay, so this is like Bo mentioned, all happening Saturday. Just one day, though. It's going to be full of activities. I noticed that you're even having a classic car show. Yes, <laughs> and and a cornhole uh, tournament as well. Goodness gracious, yeah. how many people do you expect? Uh, I don't know. I mean, upwards to probably 10, 15, 20,000 people. Is this a way for Madeira businesses and just the, the ag industry to let people know what they're all about and, 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 and give people a taste, I guess you could say, of, of what, what, what they're all about there in Madeira? Oh, oh, for sure. I mean, I mean, again, a lot of people, they don't really realize how much goes into all of that, but, you know, Central Valley, we're real big on ag, and, mm -hmm. you know, when you bring local businesses and then the ag community together, it just makes for a great event, for sure. Yeah, definitely. How long has it been going on? Uh, I think about seven years now, to okay. be honest. Yeah. And I understand it keeps getting bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger every yeah. year. Wonderful. Okay, where exactly are you going to be in, 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 on the fairgrounds or in within the fairgrounds? Because the fairgrounds aren't that big, are they? Well, we're not on the whole fairgrounds. Okay. We're going to be segregated in one spot. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to be in the middle, but I also, I heard you talking earlier, I'll be at the Fresno Home Show also. Oh, you so will? I'll be going back and forth. Oh, but, goodness gracious, yeah. you're busy. Mm -hmm. You are a busy, busy guy this weekend, Bo. Listen, thank you so very much for being here and giving us all the details. Remember, everybody, it's happening this Saturday, the Pomegranate Festival, which, by the way, changed its name this year, right? Yes, Pomegranate yes. Fruit and Nut. Because we're incorporating everything. It's all day on Saturday, and it is free, so no excuses, everybody, to not go. Thank you both for being here. Thank Appreciate you. it. Happy Halloween. You too. Okay. Stay with us, everybody. More Central Valley today when we come back.